Hey everyone, Dave here with Headset Advisor. Today we have the brand new JPL Scout Push to Talk headset for the dispatch centers. That'll be for fire, military, police, and any other dispatch center that uses a push to talk style device. So let's get into the review right now. If you're a technology consultant researching headsets for your customers, then stop watching this video right now and click the link in the video description below to learn about the proven process that hundreds of our technology consultants are following to best help their customers and get paid. Now, before we get into our review here, I just wanna give a quick shout out to our first responders, military, firefighters. We really appreciate the service that you do for our communities and we couldn't do this without you, so thank you. Now, JPL is filling the need of the dispatch center push to talk devices as ever since the pandemic, there's fewer and fewer options available, lots of back orders, and it's actually really hard to get some of these devices in the industry. So the JPL Scout is a brand new push to talk device it's available in a couple of different connection types. So this one will connect to your computer with USB-C or USB-A. You can also do the prong push to talk on your radio consoles. And then you also have one that connects via quick disconnect. So if you're connecting to a phone or a different kind of quick disconnect cable, you can use that model to connect to your devices. The JPL Scout is designed after a pistol grip. It makes it extremely comfortable for when wearing the push to talk device in your hand. And then when you press your finger, that pushes the microphone to the on position so you can communicate and then you can let go of the trigger and then your microphone is then closed. And then your thumb is located on the top, which allows you to rotate the volume up or down depending upon how loud the caller is. And at the end of the cable, you're gonna have a quick disconnect uh, adapter. This will connect to all of your JPL headsets, Poly, or even your Discover headsets. And you just simply connect the headset to that so it easily connects. And then at the other end, you have your wrist connector so you can attach it to your wrist so it could be secure. So if you want it and you know, you're not worried about dropping it, it'll just be there with the lanyard that's built in. And then also with the trigger, there is a special key here. So if you wanna be able to actually lock the microphone in the open position, if your department or dispatch center wants you to have the microphone open at all times, you can just turn this key to turn it into the lock position. So when you rotate that trigger down, it will lock the microphone. And then when you lift it up, it will unlock the microphone. So you can keep your microphone locked open if you want that feature. And then on the other end of this cable, you're gonna have three different types of connections that you can get, depending upon which Scout version you buy. You have the USB version, so if your radio console's on the computer, you can be USB-A, USB-C. You also have your prong adapter that you can use, or you can have quick disconnect on the other end in case you're connecting to a walkie-talkie radio and you wanna directly connect this device into that radio. All right, so now we're gonna do a sound test of the headset. And there's actually an LED at the top of the push talk controller here. So it'll be red as your microphone is not going through right now. And then as you push that trigger, now my microphone is open and my voice is actually being recorded through this headset, through the computer here. And this is what it sounds like when there is a quiet environment. And this is office noises through the camera mic. Now switching to the JPL Scout headset here. This is what it sounds like with office noises going on in the background. This is dogs barking through the camera mic. Now switching to the JPL Scout. This is what it sounds like with dogs barking in the background. This is a police dispatch center noises going through the camera mic. Now switching to the JPL Scout. This is what it sounds like with dispatch noises going on in the background. And this is a blender through the camera mic. Switching to the JPL Scout, this is what it sounds like with a crazy loud blender next to the JPL Scout. What did you think of the microphone performance on the JPL Scout? Curious to hear your feedback. Drop your thoughts in the comment section below. Overall, the JPL Scout is a great push to talk adapter to consider for the dispatch center environment. The price point is one of the 
lowest on the market. And on top of that, it's very simple and easy and has some unique features that other brands and models don't carry. So if you're looking to outfit your dispatch center with new push to talk adapters, the JPL Scout is definitely one you want to consider. It will connect to most of your radio consoles, whether it's on the computer or through the two prong adapters or even directly into the walkie talkies or radios themselves. So that's all I got for you on this video. If you wanna check out the new JPL Agora video conferencing system, check that video out right up here. Other than that, thanks a lot for watching this video. Don't forget to hit that thumbs up and subscribe button. We'll see you on the next one.